Welcome to Apple Insider at CES. I'm here with Lars Felber of Elgato. Hi, Victor. Hi, Lars. Thank you for speaking with me. Thanks for having me. So tell me about this button that you're holding there. This is Eve button, and this is a remote for your connected home. Um, it's very simplistic, and uh, Eve button supports up to three actions. And these actions can control an individual device or um, a home kit scene. So you could uh, control a lamp, like the one that we have uh, here in the back by the window. A single press would turn on the lamp. A double press um, would turn it off again. And a long press puts it to 50%. Um, these are the actions that we assigned to Eve button, but there is unlimited possibilities what you can do with it. You could put your good morning scene on it um, to heat up the espresso maker in the morning and light up the kitchen and turn the radio on with just one uh, press of the button, endless. And, and the use for this is if you have someone who doesn't, uh, maybe a guest in your home who's not on your HomeKit network and isn't familiar with the app. That is just one scenario. Um, you have people who don't have access to your HomeKit. Um, then you have someone who isn't a big friend of Siri and would like to have a tactile control rather. Um, and then you maybe have a quiet environment like a baby room where you want to turn the, the air purifier on without speaking to Siri or um, um, lighting up um, an iPhone display. Lots of scenarios, lots of use cases and it looks great so you want to have that around the house. Um, ready for people to use. Yeah, instead of using the sort of gloss white industrial design that you had been using, that's uh, more gloss black with an aluminum frame. It's That is correct, modern. and this is uh, what we've been using for all the latest additions um, that we added to the Eve family. We introduced that style with the Eve Degree, which was the successor product to Eve Weather. Um, and there is more to come that uses um, this design. Okay, but what else uses that design that's going to be available soon? Um, just like the Eve Weather that got its successor in, um, in Eve Degree, we made a second generation product for Eve Room, our air quality sensor, the indoor sensor. And Eve Room comes um, in the same type of enclosure with um, an aluminum frame and chamfered edges, like the ones that the iPad has. And what's new about Eve Room is that there is a display now. It's an e-ink display, very energy efficient. And what you see here is uh, the overview um, screen that tells you about the air quality. Currently we have four out of five stars here in our suite, um, temperature and humidity. And if you're rather interested in just seeing the humidity from everywhere, everywhere in the room, you can switch between those three screens with those touch sensitive buttons left and right to the display. And because it's a HomeKit device, you can use it for triggers within other devices and scenes. Exactly. You could say um, if the humidity falls below 30%, I want to um, activate an EVE Energy smart plug um, that is connected to a humidifier and increase the humidity until 45% and then automatically turn that off. So you can make that indeed part of uh, a HomeKit automation. Um, a significant change is the sensor we put in there. It's still a VOC sensor that measures volatile organic compounds, all kinds of hazardous particles in, in the air. And uh, the new one uses a Sensorian sensor, which is even more accurate than the predecessor. Very cool. And that's going to retail for ninety nine ninety five. is yeah, that right? exactly. So we hope to get that out in March this year. Fantastic. Now, there's something else you were going to show me. Right. Um, iOS 11, as um, Apple uh, promised at WWDC in 2017, uh, um, introduced uh, support for irrigation control to HomeKit. And Eve Aqua will be one of the first products that makes use of that. So this is an irrigation controller for your garden. Connect that to the faucet and connect the hose here. And then you can use um, HomeKit or even that, um, that button in the front to open the valve and um, close it 
And in Apple's home app, you can set the time that you want to leave the valve open once um, the button is clicked or once uh, a button is pressed on the iPhone or iPad. And of course, you can use uh, HomeKit to um, create schedules and water your lawn once in the morning and once in the evening for, let's say, 10, 15 minutes. And uh, the way that the Home app responds to this, Apple's Home app responds, is when you have the duration set and it's turned on, it shows the duration counting down. That is on right, the yeah. There is a countdown that shows you for how long <coughs> the water will be running. The whole setup is uh, really straightforward. We have the device here. Can we, um, look at that? we can go into the details view. And now turn the water on. You heard how the valve was opening. And um, now it's updating um, that duration here. We set it to run for five minutes and now it's counting it down. And after five minutes, you will hear the, the valve close. Same thing would happen if I press the button just manually at the, on the device. The duration gets programmed into the device then. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's um, can set that here. And currently it's five minutes. Water turned off. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, Lars. I, I do appreciate you showing me all of these cool products. Thanks for having me. Have a great CES. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we'll see you in the next video.